Oh, what's up guys, Dr. Mo here, Digital Nomad Physician at digitalnomadphysician.com. All right, so uh, anytime as a physician, you're trying to start a new practice or any new business, I think it's nice to get to that point where you can have a lot of content kept for it somewhere, right? So for me, it's always online. And, uh, you know, I could, I could write a lot of stuff on LinkedIn. And I think that's kind of easy. You keep everything on LinkedIn. That's kind of your platform. You all, you're always there. But at some point, you're going to reach the capacity of that. You're not going to be able to um, have customers come there. You can't write certain things, right? Because it is still a public, um, public profile. So that's my LinkedIn page. I, you know, I write content on there. I write a lot of articles. You can see I have some followers on there. Um, I talk about where I work. Um, there's there's a lot of things that I can do, but there's a lot of things I can't do over there, such as get a patient or a customer to come on my platform and buy directly from me. And to me, just get, getting rid of the middleman is so great. Like the ability to be able to, for me to directly create content and sell to the person I want to sell to is that's the sweet spot. That's kind of the thing that I'm that that I, that I get excited about. No middleman. So when you want to create a website, there's so many different options, right? So Bluehost or whatever is the popular one. I think SiteGround is probably a step up from that. So SiteGround is a better quality place to host a website to create a website. So if I wanted to do it, I uh, I can basically say. I can go over here and f figure out the name uh, for the website that I want. I want to say something about websites. Um, sometimes you think that the best thing that you you need to have a name that is very uh, representative of the kind of business that you do. So for me, I picked cardiachealthcoach.com. I didn't need to, right? I could have called it <clears throat> something totally random, like <laughs> beard pressure, something stupid, something ridiculous, something that I can later maybe use as a way to incorporate. And if you look at all the new companies that are going up, they're, they're just doing away with trying to um, figure out because you have to buy, pay so much. If I wanted to buy Heart Health Coach, for example, or Heart Coach, that website is available for sale for $25,000. It's not necessary. It's not going to give you any more visibility. But Cardi Cardiac Health Coach made sense to me. It was available and it was only 12 bucks. And if you want to know, uh, you know, if you want to search websites and see what, what kind of site you want to find and what kind of name you want to um, have as your website, so, so I can say um, Heart Health Coach. So I can just type that in. And it's going to give me, this is uh, domains.google.com, it's just going to give me a lot of options of different websites that are available or not available. So a lot, it's always recommended that you sort of start with uh, .com. So actually, uh, Heart Health Coach is available for sale apparently for 2800 right? Um, I'll tell you that if you actually haggle with these guys, they'll, they'll end up giving it to you for a lot less than that. You could probably get this for like 300 bucks or 250 bucks, because um, you know, there's just... Again, it's just not that important to have that particular name, but I can also find these other names like hearthealthcoaching.us, um, healthheart.coach. That's kind of cool. Um, so these are the different websites that you can, uh, you know, start uh, that, that you can choose for yourself. So um, I think Google does a good job of giving you um, different names that you can try a uh, heart, um, heart trainer dot health, etc. So fine, let's say you do that, you do all of that and you figure out what you want to name it. So once you sign up with SiteGround, it's pretty cheap, um, comes out to literally a couple of bucks a month for you to have them host your site. So basically, ideally, you would actually buy your site through them or if you buy it, if you already have a domain name. So for me, my domain name is um, cardiachealthcoach.com or whatever. I can transfer it over here for free and then they will host it for me. So let's say you already have an account with SiteGround, you set it all up and you picked your domain name. So for me right now, I'm trying to build out this domain that I have. It's called Digital Nomad Health. Now I have digital, I also have Digital Nomad Physician, I have Nomad Physician, and these are different websites that I use for different services that I offer, for different things that I sell, for different things that I do. But Digital Nomad Health is gonna be my telemedicine brand. This is gonna be my traditional bread and butter telemedicine I'm going to have an electronic medical record. I'm not going to take insurance. It's going to be all cash based. I want to have patients be able to schedule with me. It needs to be HIPAA compliant. I need to be able to sign a BAA uh, business uh, something agreement. I forgot. 
I need to be able to uh, send prescriptions, communicate with the patient, do a virtual telemedicine visit. So all of that has to be built in, but it doesn't have to be built into the site itself, right? I can just connect to a portal. So that's a nice thing. A lot of times everything kind of works really seamlessly and that's what you're about to find out. So this is kind of what I'm going to show you right now. Um, so digitalnomadhealth.com is my website. I go to the SiteGround uh, sort of uh, dashboard and I want to install WordPress. There are many different types of sites that you can use. Uh, WordPress is really easy for somebody like myself who doesn't know much about it. So I can install this. WordPress plus WooCommerce is if you're selling products. I'm not selling products. I'm selling a service. So I'm not worried about that. But first thing, I'm going to go to emails over here. And I'm going to create an email account. Now, I could set it up with Google. What I usually do is I set up an email account here first to test my, because it's free. Uh, with Google, I have to pay like six bucks um, in order to get an email that's Dr. Mo at digitalnomadhealth.com. If I want to get uh, digitalnomadhealth at gmail.com, that's free, but that's not professional enough for me, at least. Uh, I think it would do just fine for many other people. So I'm going to call this, let's say, uh, Dr. Mo, and I'll just pick a password right now, which obviously I'll change later. And then I say create. So the email account is going to be drmo at digitalnomadhealth.com. So this is kind of similar to my other email, which is drmo at digitalnomadphysician.com. That's where you guys always contact me. So now I have my email account. I can go to install. And the reason I need to do that is because right now the website is completely empty. So let's go to digitalnomadhealth.com. If I go to digitalnomadhealth.com, you can see it's empty. There's, there's literally nothing there, right? So what I do here is make sure that nothing else is installed. Um, and I go to select WordPress. So this is install new WordPress. You can read some more information here. So my domain is digitalnomadhealth.com, English, my main folder, I'll, that's usually where I install it. And so, digitalnomadhealth.com. So what is this that I'm typing in here? So what I wanna do is once I get in, once I have my dashboard, which we'll get into in a minute for WordPress, WordPress is sort of the backbone of the website that I have. I need to be able to log into that backend. And in order to do that, I need an email and a login. I just created the email and I basically picked the same passwords. Again, later on, I go back and I make these really difficult and complicated. I just have a password generator that picks all the passwords for me. So that makes it easy. And then here, I just usually click the install with WordPress starter. It just installs a bunch of stuff at once to make it easy. So this will take a few minutes. And in the meantime, you are basically trying to figure out what you're going to do with this site. Oftentimes, it makes it much, it's going to be much easier for you to be able to just link from your site to some other platform. For example, if I want to have a better practice, so better practice.com. This is a pretty easy bare bone EMR. That's really cheap. Um, a lot of health, health coaches, etc., use that. And so that's something that you can kind of use, but you're not going to be able to write prescriptions with this as far as I understand. And that's kind of uh, something useful. There are many different types of um, um, like uh, Chrono EMR is a popular one. So you can go, you know, you can pick Chrono, set up an email account. It's an EHR um, health record, Dr. Chrono, and you, you'll be able to prescribe, you'll be able to do everything. And I think it's somewhere around 50 bucks a month. I've, I've done a lot of that research for you guys on, on my different um, platforms on, on my website. I've talked about different types of uh, EMRs, which are good, which are bad. There is VC, there is this, there is all scripts, there is Athena Health. It really depends on what you're going to do. Me, I want to pick something that's really straightforward and I don't really want to um, bill any insurance. I don't really need ma major ICD-10 codes or anything like that because everything's going to be pretty much cash based. But this is a good one to check out. I've played around with it quite a lot. The interface is intuitive. Patients get emails. There is a patient portal where they can check everything. They give you a, um, they give you a free two week, I think, or one month free um, that you, so you can try it out and see how you like it. 
So let's, uh, this is Cardiac Health Coach. This is the other website that I set up already. So we're not gonna need that. Let's close that. Okay, so it looks like WordPress is installed. <clears throat> That's awesome, that was fast, right? So we can go visit the site or we can go to the admin panel. Let's go visit the site. <coughs> Here it is, pretty straightforward. Um, this is the actual site, right? There's nothing, there's nothing there, but you can see that it's working. If I go to the admin panel, that's kind of where the juice is. So let's take a look. Here we go. Admin panel is over here. I forget. Um, so I go over here to log into the ad admin panel, the administrative panel. And so now it's taken me to the actual site. So you can go, you can start in the beginning here and it'll ask you, hey, what theme do you want to use? And there's a lot of different themes that you guys can use, okay? Um, one, one, one of the ones that is pretty straightforward is like 2021 has a lot of support. It's always updated. A theme is the way your website is going to come across to other people. Uh, photography is really cool. Um, if you if you're thinking that you want to you want to showcase a lot of stuff, so if you want to go into the diet dietetic space, dietitian, etc., it's really nice to have a website like this where a lot of things are visual for people. Um, that's obviously not what I'm trying to do. Um, so I'm trying to see if there's another good one over here that I like. Oh, I've used this one before. This is a, this is a fun one. This is really easy. And obviously this should look familiar to you. This is the company style is the one that I use for my heart health coaching website. Um, I've played around with, I think, coffee shop and that one is really cool too. But anyway, let's say I go with 2021. Let's see what it would look like. Okay, so pretty straightforward up here. Uh, photo and it goes straight in directly into your content it's really really bare bones right and that's my, that might be okay because remember I'm probably gonna write uh, the purpose of my website is to share some information with people who want to find me so I want to have some videos of me I want to have some audio content from me maybe I want to have some written content so somebody can kind of get to know me what am I all about so I could have a separate YouTube channel for that, sure, that's pretty easy to do. I could record the videos and upload it directly to my site, but that can slow down my site. Um, so for the time being, what we'll do is we'll just pick this one. Personal trainer, right? It's sort of like along the lines of, um, so it says uh, use WooCommerce. I don't wanna use WooCommerce. And the reason for that is again, I'm not gonna sell any uh, content to anyone. But I think a content form is good. Maps, I don't really need. Uh, calendar, I don't really want. So we'll just continue with this. Uh, manage contacts, okay. So these are all the different things that you can use in order for you to uh, make your, there's these little apps that you can install on your website. So we'll kind of get into that in a little bit. So you'll see it, it, it's gonna install all these different apps. So once you get into your WordPress site, there are a lot of different apps in there that you can use. So I can show you what my, my Digital Nomad website <clears throat> is designed like this and we'll go to the plugins. This is my main website. This is where you guys contact me. And you can see that these are the plugins that I have. I have anti-spam so that I don't get a lot of spam. I have a broken link checker because I link to a lot of stuff. I wanna make sure that those links are still updated. I have a way for people to subscribe to my newsletter. I have a way to kind of check and see what's my what's the website traffic like? Do I need uh, traffic like? Do I need to adjust it? Do I get enough people coming in? Are people finding me properly on their phone, on their website, on their web browser, etc.? These are software from SiteGround to just make this website faster. Social chat is a way for somebody to message me directly on WhatsApp. And this one just hides my login so that you don't see my uh, actual login just to prevent some hacking and attacking. Um, and then um, this is Yoast. This is a search engine optimization plugin. And what it does is whatever content I write, it basically, basically helps me advertise it to the rest of the web. It makes it easier for somebody to find my content. That's really what it is. And if this is the paid version of this, so obviously I pay for that. So go to the dashboard. Let's go to the dashboard. 
So everything's, uh, all the apps are installed. And in fact, if you take a look, this is the dashboard for my site. So this is where I live. The, every single day I come in, I check into this, I update the plugins, I mess around with whatever, I check the comments over here, um, and I just interact with my website. This is the same thing here. So if I go to the plugin section here, uh, let's see. Yeah, same thing. Uh, so you can see uh, I have some, this is obviously a brand new website, SiteGround Optimizer, WordPress Importer, which we don't need. I'm not importing uh, WordPress from anywhere else. Google Analytics will, will keep um, Gutenberg blocks. These are all the different apps. Again, this is something that you'll just have to figure out, but let's go into the site and take a look um, at the actual uh, pages, for example. So Digital Nomad Health, these are all the different pages that are there. So let's go to, if I go to Digital Nomad Health, this is what it looks like. It says personal trainer. So what I can do is up here, this is kind of like my dashboard that you guys saw before. This is my email up there. You can see all of this, I can edit. There's a link here to a YouTube video that I can change. There is different uh, little icons and stuff that this has, There's some uh, customer reviews, uh, check out my services, what I offer, what I sell. And then down here it says WordPress. So if I wanna edit this page, I simply go up here and I say edit. Uh, it's really straightforward, which is something, uh, it, it's a big advantage of having WordPress. So this is the editor. If you're not familiar with it, it's good for you to take a look at this, but I can say, digital physician for nomads, right? Um, why? Because I just want to distinguish myself. I want to be a physician for nomads. Why not? Um, so over here on the right, you, you'll see that you can, I can change the width of this. I can change the <clears throat> colors. I can change the font size. I can make it bold, beautiful, simple starter page. So I could say access to a physician no matter where you are in the world. All right. <clears throat> so here it says book a service. So if I click on that, here is the link. So I can get rid of the link or I can add a new link. So I can say I can have him just email me. I have a feeling I'm going to use this a lot. <laughs> DigitalNomadHealth.com. Um, and so they just click on that and they can basically email me, right? Super easy. Now, at any time, as you're updating your site, you can update it, but you can also preview it. So if I say preview and I want to look at it on a desktop, <clears throat> I can actually take a look like, hey, do I like this? Is it looking good? Like, oh, all right, there's a little trainer, so I know I gotta change that. Digital, digital physician for nomads, access to physician no matter where you are in the world. Okay, and then uh, here's the book of service, great. And then I can just kind of go all the way down the line and change everything, <laughs> personalize. This is probably from uh, the UK, that's kind of cool. Um, and then here's a way for me to apparently add a video. Yep, this is a YouTube block. That's great. So I know that I can find, I can create a YouTube channel and then add some content on there and then put it over here. That's a fantastic way for me to be able to talk to my audience directly with my beautiful face. Um, here it looks like something, something went haywire there. It's not a big deal. And this is too much stuff. I mean, I think this is a very bloated web page to initially land on. You basically want to know, all right, this is the physician. I can book a service here. And so usually what I do is I actually add a Calendly uh, link on there to just make it super simple. So if you go to my website <clears throat> at digitalnomadphysician.com, you can see here that, for example, with my coaching services, you can directly book a session with me and there is a Calendly um, app. So not only do I integrate payment, so if anybody wants to book a session with me, they have to click on PayPal, they have to pay me first. So for example, my coaching is $5,000 for six months. They click that, they have to pay the money, then they can book with me. 
Um, and then for somebody who wants to book a session with me for one hour consulting, they can click and see, okay, what times does he have available? Looks like he has a full day available here. If somebody wants to uh, book a session with me, oh, okay, well, that, that was it. And then here's some testimonials that I add. So these are all the little plugins that you can add to your site. And there are either plugin apps that you download. So for example, if I'm on site tool, sorry, if I'm uh, on my dashboard over here, if you take a look, I can go to plugins and I can add a new plugin up here. So if you remember from this website, I had uh, like I had hide login. WP hide login. So I know I'm on that. I use that all the time. Uh, here's interesting. It says must have plugin. So let's take a look. Uh, contact forms. Okay, I've used that before. It's a pretty good one. Monster Insight. Okay, Google Analytics dashboard. I already have. I already have that downloaded. I just have to activate it. Um, search engine optimization. I actually like Yoast for that. Uh, there's so many good ones, but I'm just comfortable with using Yoast, and I think Yoast is about a hundred bucks a year. So I'm going to use that. Um, and I can take a look at what else I use, uh, but I, I'll tell you that after you do this long enough, you're probably going to have your own stuff that you like, that you're comfortable with. So it looks like Broken Link Checker is something that I probably want. Broken Link Checker, Broken Link Finder. So I install that. <clears throat> And that's it, that's gonna become my website. So basically the whole point of this is you have a website now. And so if I go to um, digitalnomadhealth.com, I'll have a full blown website. And then later on what I can do, you can see this little icon up there. I can change that to something else. I can, uh, I can add that calendar section right in here that I talked about. I can add some testimonials down here. So like a kind of a scrolling window. Somebody can look through my test testimonials as a patient. Um, I can add some photos. I can put recipes up, you know, anything that I want. I can talk about, you know, where do I send prescriptions to? Where do I not send prescriptions to? And that's something that you can add here um, on the top, right? You don't have to add everything in the first page. I can say, this is a blog, so you can subscribe to the blog. These are my services, what I offer as a physician. And this is a little bit about me, my medical license, where I'm board certified, where they can find me, where they can, if they just want to get a second medical opinion, if they want a prescription, pretty straightforward. So that's what I'm going to build out, guys. I hope this is helpful. Again, we uh, talked about site ground and where to find a domain name that you like, that fits you. Again, don't focus too much on the actual name, um, the, the way to install the SiteGround, uh, the way to create an email account. And by the way, if you ever want to check your email account, you go down here to accounts and over here, once it loads, it says login for webmail. And that's where you can check your email. And then later on, what I actually do is I uh, add this to my Gmail account. So every time I open my Gmail account, I can actually check this. So it's not like you have to log in here every single time to do that. So that's it. If you guys have any questions, if you want to work with me, uh, check out my website at digitalnomadphysician.com, not <laughs> digitalnomadhealth.com. Um, and uh, that's it. Take care.